Growing up, I definitely did not know that I wanted to make Aliyah. And the Zionism kind of came in because my grandparents, my Bobby and Zeta um, on my dad's side are Holocaust survivors. So it was very much kind of enshrined in us that the state of Israel is so crucially important to the Jewish people. And I guess I was 19, I uh, had the chance to go on birthright. And that was the first time I came to Israel. And even after birthright though, I didn't know that I wanted to make Aliyah. I knew like I felt some sort of a connection, but I kept coming on birthright. I staffed four trips and kept finding reasons to come back, making more and more friends and ended up building the connection. And that's kind of when I knew that I wanted to make Aliyah. I'm engaged um, to my fiance, Danny, who's from Chicago. So he's also a fellow uh, Ole. And right now I live across the street from the Shuk, from Shuk Machne Yehuda in Jerusalem. Living in the Shuk, I love it because it means all the different vendors know me. I'm friends with them. It's just kind of helps me feel like I belong here and I'm part of this society. When I made Aliyah, I started as the deputy editor of NGO Monitor, which is an organization that looks at government funding to human rights organizations that are active in the Arab-Israeli conflict. And I moved on to be the managing editor of the organization. And then um, for the past nine or so months, I've been working as a political aide for a member of Knesset, Michal kotler Wunsch. So I actually got to work with her in Knesset. Being an Ola in the Knesset is being thrown into the heart of the Israeli democracy and the is Israel experience. Working in the Knesset definitely gave me like more of that immersive experience that I'm very thankful for. My Zeta was hugely influential um, in my life and he passed away almost two years ago exactly and I was very close to him. And he always said um, that at least try to make the world a better place or don't make it worse. And for me, that, that stuck with me and I always wanted to make the world a better place. Got interested in politics and human rights and Israel and Israel advocacy and all of that kind of spiraled down to where I am today, which is living in Israel. My career has been to help the Jewish people and the Jewish state and being in Israel has enabled me to fulfill that. And I could only do what I'm doing by being here that I'm here sort of fulfilling the dream.